Welcome to this terrible show that you're watching for some reason. So, and we are gonna be your hosts. <laughs> so, and as you can see from the logo, this is gonna be Tech Talk. I know it sounds like, uh, well, well it, uh, it's written like TikTok, but it sounds like the, what it actually is. So it's Tech Talk. And with me, we have the lovely Gorilla, right? Yes. Perfect. Yes, that, is, that is one of the closest pronunciations that I have ever heard. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you, can you introduce yourself? Oh so, my goodness. Yeah, so, for, okay, okay, just to, just to, uh, uh, like a preamble. So, uh, Gorilla is my very good friend and uh, my fellow nerd that uh, is also really interested in tech news so that's why i felt like he is the perfect candidate to to have this kind of a show so we get together and we talk tech and that's why basically this this thing was born so i don't know yeah feel free to join in here absolutely we, yes it, it doesn't sound like the most original idea on paper yeah. because there are plenty of people you could be watching instead of us yes. that do exactly the same thing. Actually, I'm not exactly sure if that's true. <clears throat> I'm not that into like the podcasting and video casting space, but I'm sure there's yeah. plenty. Yep. But what we are trying to bring is a different angle. Yeah. Uh, being both, or living both, I guess, uh, in the European Union. Yes. To create an English speaking tech show, tech talk show. Yeah. With our own twist. Don't that. We don't, we're not gonna be like uh, only talking tech. We're gonna add our personal touch and flair and so what we like and what we rant about and what we're excited about and current events and what we are passionate about. So. Absolutely. Yes. And so, European perspective yes. in English, yes. but not the British perspective. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that could be kind of, I mean, oh let's be honest. If there is a European tech content, it's probably coming from the UK. Ah, oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Probably it's coming from the UK. So, and yeah. since the UK is now officially cancelled, we thought that we could fill the niche <laughs> of an English-speaking podcast that is not from the United Kingdom. Yes, exactly. Oh my god, yeah, exactly. That, you, you said it so right. UK is basically cancelled. In case it you didn't... exist anymore. Yeah. The last time I checked the map, it's not even there anymore. So, whatever YouTubers that you're watching from UK, and God knows I have watched YouTubers from UK, but they're... Even the Arun is the biggest, like, mobile reviewer from the UK and but he's not in the, the EU anymore so shout out to him I wish he was uh, also like a ebook uh, like an audiobook narrator I love his voice I could listen to it like uh, yeah like a, yeah like a deep voice uh, I guess I'm not completely sure but uh, is he native from UK I think he is I think I so don't, yeah but anyway uh, okay, so... So I, I guess we should introduce ourselves personally. Oh, okay. What do we do? How, yeah. how, how deep we are in tech? Yeah, from the... Tech Some of our favorite, maybe, uh, um, yeah, um, manufacturers and devices that we own. Yes. So, go first. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, to be honest, uh, the reason why I felt also like Kirillo is a good fit, because we're kind of in the same ecosystem that uh, with the apples and with the airpods and with the max so it's like <sighs> we are we, certified we, apple sheep uh, <laughs> but so with a it, but with a twist okay yes. to uh to have a kind of a like a lip i will tell you a secret actually uh, I will. I tried to do this ish show f five years ago a little, a little bit, but mm -hmm. 
with a person who wasn't like who was an android basically but That's nice. and and i was apple but uh, no it could have worked but uh, the reputation of apple users got in into the way basically so he he was pretty much in the sense of like okay so you are using apple so you are basically a sheeple so which we are yes <laughs> but we are we are in a i would say I w i'm a critical sheeple so if apple does something wrong i will i will call it out I love it. The critical sheeple should be in our like. <laughs> yeah, this this which is which is kind of ironic because it's no longer Android. So yeah, I like that as well. I mean, yeah. So we are talking all the tech, not like not just like Apple, and uh, we are interested in everything that that is happening pretty much in in tech. So it's like, yes, Apple and Android or more important uh, like iOS and Android so but also video games what what's going on with consoles what's going on with uh, hardware in uh, on PCs I have a PC at home so so Mac is not the only platform that I'm using I'm using also Windows a little bit but yeah Mac is my main platform so for my for my phone and for my computer Mm -hmm. so how about yourself? I went through all of those button phones, brick phones, the uh, colorful Nokia that had like LEDs in the back, in the in the sides that would light up when you were called, oh. which is kind of oh. now that I think about it, it, kind of made its way into Android at some point when they had these like phones with LEDs uh, uh, that would light up when you had like notifications and calls and stuff. Mm -hmm. Crazy. So I had that. I had one of the few like smartphones, uh, the Windows phones that Nokia were trying to make a thing that never became a thing. Um, uh, the Nokia that had a physical keyboard that would like slide upward, uh, you know, that was actually kind of crazy. And I think that was actually the last phone that I owned that wasn't iPhone. And it was shit. Like in retrospect, it was complete shit. So iPhone blew my mind and the first iPhone mm -hmm. that I owned was 3GS. So that the, is uh, second generation, right? Did you know what the S stands for when you got it? No, not really. I knew that 3G was for 3G because yeah, the first yeah, iPhone yeah, yeah. didn't even have that capability, which was strange. Yeah. Okay. But S, I know, super? No. No? Speed. Speed? Speed. Okay. Speed. Yeah, that's what yes. Phil Schiller told on the, on the stage. And, uh, that the reason why I was asking, I still heard people that uh, when I was like ranting about X XR, the new phone that I have right now currently, I am rocking an iPhone XR. Not not new anymore, but I also have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere. So yeah, that's we are in the actually out of like super weird that we are both on the same phone. But anyway, I was uh, ranting about like what what the. F it does the air uh, the R stand for? And he was like, "Oh, I know that one." What? I know Wait. that one. Hold, it was hold such that, a random. Hold that thought. But uh, mm -hmm. yes, that uh, it doesn't make any sense either. By the way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but crazy. and uh, and I was like, uh, but the R doesn't stand for anything. And my friend was like, "Yeah, but so doesn't the S." And I looked up the very first iPhone three G S where Phil Schiller introduced the iPhone 3GS with, and the S stands for speed. It was completely known for the, from the very first one. And so I was ranting about the R and uh, I'm still not even sure what the R stands for, but apparently you know. So... You don't know. No. Okay, be ready. It's, it doesn't make any sense. I don't even know if that's what exactly it means. Okay. But if I remember correctly, one of the Apple executives was asked this question in the interview. Really? It could have been... I don't really know. I'm not going to say who that was because I don't actually remember. Okay. But I very vividly remember him saying that R in 10R stands for 
really colorful. Oh. It doesn't even make sense. Does it has it? to be two letters. So it's the iPhone 10 really colorful. Oh, but colorful didn't make it. Having yeah, two letters and yeah. it's oh. too much. That's so bad. It's incredible. Wow. It's incredible. I don't I think probably they had a more bigger plans for this line yeah. perhaps. But now that they completely abandoned it, I mean, why? It's just kind of one of a kind. I mean, it's actually a collectible item. Yeah. Why and don't you just at, at that point? Why don't you just X C the C for color, as with the iPhone five C? Yeah. Anyway, I think I have an answer to that question as well because I probably didn't want to have association with that one oh. because it was very poorly received yeah. because it was like plastic and cheap. You're probably right, because I, yeah. I, I totally see that Apple is thinking that way. Marketing. Yeah, marketing. Really colorful. Or... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Stunning. Anyway, so... Yeah, so, so yeah, so iPhone happened, I haven't had... Uh, so, speaking of Sheeple, I haven't had a non-iPhone phone since then. Wow. Uh, since 3GS, so it's been a long time. I had 3GS. 4S, 6, 7, 10R. That was my kind of uh, 4S, okay. my favorite iPhone. Uh, to this day, mm -hmm. I own an iPad Pro. Okay. I was a proud owner of the very first original iPad. Ooh. Hated it. Yeah. The iPad wasn't wasn't what it what it is. Uh, yep. You know, in 2021, yep. back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a large iPhone. Yeah. 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 But like. You know, I also owned iPad Mini too. Love that thing. Mm -hmm. And so iPad Pro is my current one. And uh, yeah, I've been mostly a Windows user my entire life because I was into gaming. So I was introduced to <laughs> computers yep. through video games, more or less. Yeah. Uh, but now I, I'm a proud owner of the M1 MacBook Air. Oh. John. Which we can also talk about in one of maybe future episodes. Yes, absolutely. And I'm so jealous of you. Because... You should be. Yeah, because <laughs> as we're trying to record this thing right now, it's like... Okay, my 2016 MacBook is like trying to lift off from my table right now. So, which... Uh -huh. While recording. So it's like... Okay. My laptop isn't even like warm. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, and uh, you know, at the bottom. Yeah, so the new M M1 MacBooks, pretty good. I'm. Oh, by the way, I didn't ask. Uh, okay, I will get to my my Apple history also, but. Uh, Okay, I will do my Apple history first. Uh, so I had also the the very first phone was iPhone four, which I was like, mm -hmm. okay, this is gonna be a game changer. I have to get it, and I got it at the point where the four S was out, and I was like, mm -hmm. I'm not missing that much anyway. So the S stands for speed, yes, but I can live without speed at that point, and yeah. So I was. Wasn't four S also the first phone to have the Retina display? The four. The four was the four. The four, four, the four okay. had it, and that, and that point, I was like, "Why well, need to see this screen? Because Retina, what the hell is that?" Anyway, I, yeah, and I was in love ever since iPhone four, and uh, so five S, six S plus, which was huge. I I loved it. I, I loved it mainly for the battery, and I never could go back pretty much to a smaller phone after that. After, mm -hmm. Yeah, after 6S Plus, I got the 8 Plus, the big one, and mm -hmm. and now I got the XR. The, also known as 10R. Or also known as really colorful. Holy yes, God. 10 really colorful. Oh my God. Uh, and what color do you have? Uh, I have the out of the all really colorful uh, options. I have the red one, uh, the product red. Wait, uh, yes. Mm. 
honestly the last good red color that Apple made for a phone. The 12 model color, uh, product red is yeah, horrible. It's uh, almost. It is like somebody desaturated. It, yeah. It? Some people have reported it to be almost like salmon in, in, a, in a, light, a different light. So it's like almost pinkish, which is like, yeah. what the hell is going on? Well, that could be its own thing. Yeah. But it, it's still product red, right? As I understand. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So. I think so. Yeah. Very strange. I think this was a uh, yeah, lovely color. Okay, and now I'm getting to the... So, did I mention mm. it? Did I mention what my next plan is for my computer? Uh, you only mentioned that you want to have the 16-inch yes. when they uh, yes. announce slash release. Yes, yeah. but I recently decided also that I'm going with, uh, with the M1. Right. right. But didn't you say that you were yeah. going to wait for? Yeah, the... yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna buy a middle, uh, just to fill the hole, in between the, when I'm getting finally the big, the big, sixteen-inch MacBook Pro, I guess. Okay. And, I'm pro did you find a, did you find a way to get one? Uh, not yet. It's also kind of impossible to get one right now. Yeah, it is. I got completely lucky. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure you want to get the 16 gigabyte version, right? Yeah, that's the problem. That is even more complicated. Yeah, that is really complicated. And uh, no store, by the way, if you're watching this far uh, and you didn't know, we live in a country called Estonia. <laughs> <laughs> I like how this is one of the... <laughs> Yeah, one of the last things we mentioned about ourselves. Yeah, I mean, just to just to throw that in. So, just to make it clear that we aren't from the UK. Yes, exactly. That, we aren't lying to people. Yes, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Like, uh, oh yeah, UK, uh, not in the U. Uh, and that, then it came apparent that we we're in the UK. Somebody bursts into the door, like offering, like, would you like a tea and cookies or something? I don't know. Anyway, biscuit. Uh, yeah, biscuit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so, but yeah, which of, one of the three max, what do you think I will get? Just, oh. just to... Uh, if I were to recommend you knowing that you want to then buy a 16-inch MacBook Pro, I would definitely recommend you to buy the uh, Mini. That's what I was gonna get, uh, that's what I'm gonna get, yeah, the Mini. Absolutely, because buying a 13-inch MacBook Pro knowing how you use it mm -hmm. it's kind of yeah it's kind of not gonna be the greatest of experience I'm, I'm sure it would still be better yeah, yeah, yeah even if you would have to have a couple extra dongles to go with it yeah but <laughs> if you have a monitor that is okay that you like using yeah definitely it's cheaper yeah. than MacBook yeah. Pro oh my you god you can probably still sell it for decent money yeah when you get the Maybe you can even keep it if you want for your home office. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I don't know how that is. I haven't actually researched what is the situation with the Mac Mini right now. In terms of like going and buying one. So yeah, that's what I was mentioning Estonia also. So uh, Estonia usually gets shafted. That's what we call it. And uh, totally, it, I can I can attest to that. Yeah. So. You were pretty much the. You told me that you got pretty much the last one at that point when you were getting the air, the new M1 air. Yeah, I ordered one from, let's say, it's like a local version of what would it be, like a Best Buy or. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, the local Best Buy. So. Yeah, so it's a, it's a big um, chain of stores. Which is also blue. <laughs> Which is also blue. Yeah. Um, and sells electronics, like consumer electronics. Yeah. And also coffee for some reason. It's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And my estimated waiting time for. I ordered a silver air with uh, 256 gigs of storage and the 8 gigs of memory. So the most, the most basic one. Yeah. The, the 900 The most basic one. one. Yeah. Yeah, totally. That costs, of course, not thousand euros. Yeah. 
it's also a thing that we can talk later. Yeah. Uh, it was a uh, eleven hundred fifty euros uh, price, mm -hmm. and my estimated time for delivery was uh, twenty five work days. So that is how many weeks? So that is five weeks. So that's all, uh, a month and a half. Yeah. And so I, and I ordered it, and two weeks later, two and a half weeks later, I randomly saw that they had one unit in the color that I wanted, but with the Scandinavian keyboard just instead of English keyboard. Yeah. And I was like, fuck it, whatever. There isn't that much of a difference anyway. Also, mm. probably European thing to talk about, the keyboards. Yeah. I'm sure Estonia is not the only key country that sells multiple different, you know, uh, keyboard setups. Yeah, that's one thing also. If you're watching us from, I don't know, US or... From any, from any country that has more than one language. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, we're not gonna like be just limited to tech or, or something like that. We, we, we like Netflix, TV series, movies, mu music, board games, so... Robot vacuums. Yeah, robot vacuums, robot so... Robot butlers. Yes. <laughs> one day, one day, soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kirill is uh, also really interested in consoles, so I'm not mm -hmm. that of a console guy, but he is. So. We can get like cyberpunk uh, insights straight from the source. Talk about how awful the PS5 situation is. Yeah. Very European topic actually to talk about. I assume it's similar yes. in other countries as well. Yes. Europe got, uh, as, we, as we say in uh, Estonia, shafted again in terms of like distribution to uh, from. <sighs> To the consoles. Mm hmm. Absolutely. So, PS5 is still like 700, 800 euros over here to, uh, from, from a person. So, it's like. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it doesn't if, exist yet. If you it's can still... even find it, basically, yeah. So, it's, yeah. all the stores are still selling it for 1000 euros. So, it's like, mm -hmm. what the. But it's going on. Anyway. That's a good topic to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How retailers scam. So, yeah. Basically. So, expect like this EU angle, maybe some Estonian angles on to. I think these are so, both similar. Yeah. The EU has very similar tax systems and, you know, yeah. um, law. What, but way better uh, right to repair. So, we got that going for that, us. Uh, I meant more like, you know, the Estonian yeah, yeah, yeah. and EU angle are similar because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I know, I know, I know, I know. But the regulations are quite similar. Yeah, and I meant like uh, the right to repair in Europe uh, is way better mm, than okay. uh, US right now. So it's like, like... Another reason to move in, you know, falling democracy, right to repair. <laughs> yeah. That's already two big reasons to move. Uh, to to Europe, oh, I feel like. Yes, exactly. Yeah. While while you know there is coup d'état in the United States, have you heard? Uh, uh, you know, in Estonia, the um, prime minister stepped down. Yeah. Um, and also, the new government is going to be made. Stunning, excellent news. Yeah. You yeah. know, so it's it's a balance, you know. Yeah. The US yeah. is crumbling. Everybody else is not everybody else, but at least here is doing fine. So, you know. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. And we didn't have like a overthrow the government movement at least, so it's like more civil than that. So it's like I have not, I cannot even like <laughs> conceptualize in my head seeing like hundreds of Estonians. Yeah, like, exactly. Imagine first, like breaking yeah. into like the parliament. Yeah, into Can you the, imagine such a thing. Yeah, what? Yeah, what would that even look like? Like what? <laughs> like <laughs> exactly. Like. They're... I mean, I kind of want to see it. Maybe somebody needs to make a movie about it or something. Yeah. They're all, like, taking their lunches to work and uh, with Kodo Yust and Hapu Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. Who knows? So, we will be you here know. next time if the government is still existing. And... Uh, if the world has intended by yeah. the world. Yeah, the world is... Which is an option, I mean, 2021. Yeah, 
I guess. So if we don't die of COVID by then, yeah. Oh. Lots of different things that could happen. So I feel like this is the perfect year to start something like this also because totally. everything is virtual. Everything is gonna be virtual anyways. So this is Forever. a well sometimes uh, some things for sure. Totally. So some yeah. some companies have even like yeah we don't need to you to come back to to the workplace Ooh, pretty much yeah I heard I'm forgetting we could also mention that I'm yeah. forgetting which company just basically said yeah you can all work from home yeah they only left like a couple of dozen people in the office for like some yeah maintenance yeah maintenance. yeah yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's fascinating. That, that, fascinating times. So the whole world is basically moving towards this thing, this virtual thing, pretty much. Anyway, so it only makes sense for us to start something like this, also. So mm -hmm. totally. Yes. So I don't know. Thank you for watching this terrible show, and. Uh, and we're sorry. And we're so sorry for this. And if you have any constructive criticism, leave that in the comments below. Mm -hmm. If you have yeah. any constructive criticisms and comments about uh, what R stands for in the yes, in R, so definitely leave a comment. Yes, if you if you if you know that the R stands for I don't know robust, who knows. <laughs> It, it hasn't broken on mine, so my XR is still working. Still as good as new. Mine doesn't even have a case and still looks excellent. Oh, perfect. Okay. But yeah, uh, so thank you for joining us and uh, we're gonna see you again. In, in some unknown time frame. But we in will, some capacity, yes. In some capacity and... Uh, on the on the same channel at least so thank you for watching this tech talk which is a talk about tech a talk about tech or and is not affiliated with tiktok yes and or, or facebook yes yes Wait, is it owned by facebook facebook it is no, owned by no, facebook no, no. Uh, no uh, tic oh. tiktok is owned by White dance? I, I don't know. They're Chinese. Uh, oh, right, right, right. There was this whole thing, right? Yeah. yeah. TikTok was going to be banned in America. Yeah, yeah. Forget Facebook. I mean, Facebook can go fuck I mean, Facebook. Facebook is just fuck Facebook. Okay, okay. So they will sue us. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's Chinese company suing us. So it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can now sleep uh, with my consciousness clear. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. And the more the more I say it, the more I hear it, uh, the more it kind of like yeah, okay. It's yeah, brilliant. that's what. Like that's the that's the brilliancy. I feel like okay, the brilliancy is mm. overstating, but I mean the layers, the, the layers. Yes, exactly. Like, te if you read it, then it's like, what is this like clone social media clone or? But if you say it out loud, it's like, it is this thing that you're saying out loud. Tech talk, technology talk. Anyway, so uh, until next time, and thank you for watching. <laughs>